Jessica Simpson has lost uh, quite a bit of weight since giving birth to her daughter in May. The singer is the newest face of Weight Watchers, but when it comes to losing the baby weight, Jessica is like most other women. She has openly discussed her struggles with shedding pregnancy pounds and something many new moms can relate to. But there's also some pregnant moms out there who don't gain enough weight. Uh, Rosie Pope, host of Bravo TV's Pregnancy in Heels, is joining me now. She's also the author of a new book, Mommy IQ, and has a maternity line that offers clothing in extra small sizes. Okay, Rosie, let's talk about this. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So what, what made you think of, of creating this clothing line for women who don't seem to gain enough weight? Did you see, when did you notice, I guess, a market for it? Well, I mean, we have a broad range of sizes all the way to extra large, and I never thought we'd have to introduce an extra small, but we started to get a lot of requests, and believe it or not, it's one of our best-selling sizes. Um, and we found a lot of women that were particularly petite while putting on a healthy amount of weight weren't getting very large, and they wanted to celebrate their pregnancy bodies too, and they wanted to be able to buy maternity clothes, so we wanted to cater towards them. So are these women who are... Are these women who are not wanting to gain weight while they're pregnant? Are they, are, is, that who these, some, uh, is that who some of these women are? I mean, there's two types of women. There's the one that don't want to gain a lot of weight, and that's a real problem because what's very important to gain a healthy amount of weight, and if you're a healthy size when you get pregnant, you should gain around 30 pounds. And if you do, only five to eight of those pounds are actually you. Everything else is the baby and the placenta and the water gain and all that kind of stuff. So it's really important to gain a, a healthy amount of weight. If you're a type of woman that's not gaining a healthy amount of weight because you have body issues, that's a huge problem because you have to learn to put your baby first. But the types of women buying our extra small size are really not those women. They're women that are just smaller frames and naturally don't put on as much weight as opposed to women that have, you know, severe body weight gain issues. Rosie, I'm so glad you made that distinction because I, I really, it makes me really sad to think um, of, of a woman being so concerned about her weight. Um, in general, whether she's pregnant or not, um, I, I hate that. It drives me crazy when yeah. people put pressure on women. But especially um, during pregnancy, the idea that a woman is still so concerned about her looks and her weight during a time when she should just be allowed to look like what she's naturally supposed to look like. And everybody is so different. I really ask people not to judge other women because people's metabolisms, their bodies are just so widely varied. Some women are on bed rest. Some women can exercise. Uh, some women have slow metabolisms. Some have them fast. You know, it's just we really shouldn't judge other women for how much weight they're gaining or not gaining during pregnancy as long as for them it's a healthy amount. And that's a discussion for them and their doctor. Absolutely. And let's, let's, you know what? Let's go ahead and continue that to the next step. We also should not judge women for how quickly they do or don't right. lose weight either. <laughs> I know, you know, it's really different. Um, I just had my third child, and for me, losing the weight with the third child was a lot easier than with the first. But quite frankly, I think that's because you know, there's just no time to sleep. Um, there's really enough time to actually sit down and eat. But that's very different to a first-time mom who's taking maternity leave and enjoying breastfeeding and taking naps with her baby. It takes longer to lose the weight. And you're right, we really shouldn't judge women either for how long or short it takes them to lose that weight. I mean, that should not be top of mind as soon as, as, soon as you drop the baby. That should not be the first thing on your mind is losing the weight. I mean, there's so many other things uh, to think about. What, what was your experience um, during, during your pregnancy? Each pregnancy for me has been really, really different, and I think that's opened my eyes to why every woman's experience is different. Sure. Um, my first pregnancy, you know, I was only eating organic foods, I was exercising, I was doing everything right. Um, my second pregnancy, I was on bed rest, and I think I ate grilled cheese and Pringles for pretty much <laughs> every meal. And I, now I you're just, just bragging. To, I know. I just <laughs> wanted to be able to have that baby. And um, the third pregnancy, you know, I was filming about 12 hours a day, sometimes six days a week. So it was really intense, and it was sometimes I think I forgot I was even pregnant. So it was, it was very different, but I just encourage women to enjoy their pregnancies and also to use it as a time to learn that, that you're going to not be able to put yourself first anymore. You're going to put a baby mm -hmm. first and a child first, and that's a beautiful thing. And I think pregnancy prepares you for that, and the weight gain is an important part of that because it is necessary if you do it healthily. That's a fantastic, uh, fantastic message. I like that very, very much. Uh, Rosie, best of luck with your show that I know is extremely popular. Um, and, and good luck uh, with your book um, as well, uh, Mommy IQ. And I know you're going to be doing a lot of other things with us here at HLN. It's a great conversation. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right.